Hello everyone, Alan Nursall here in my kitchen. Tell us for all the science, Edmondson. Got a slightly different camera angle here. You might have seen this once already with one of the demos. We'll call this camera two. The one in my garage we'll call camera three. And they're all the same camera. Anyway, here, looking at camera two, I'm gonna take this red plastic cup. It's just one of these flimsy plastic cups. Doesn't have to be red. This is often called a solo cup. That's a brand name, but it's just, you know, it's a flimsy cup and you're gonna need about a meter of string. Just the sort of string you might have in the kitchen. Use it for trussing turkeys or chickens if that's the thing you do in your kitchen. And you'll see it goes through the bottom of the cup. You need to punch a tiny little hole there to thread the string through. And on the other side, you have to tie a knot. And what I've done is I've actually tied a knot around a paper clip. The only purpose of the knot and paper clip is to prevent the string from being pulled out of the hole in the bottom of the cup. Because what we're gonna do, we're gonna pull in the string. And what we've got here is we've got a very primitive speaker. I'm gonna make this bottom, this bottom surface vibrate and it'll be amplified by this cone of substance of material plastic around those vibrating waves. So let's just do this. Okay. Ta-da! Not all that uh, interesting, to be perfectly honest, but if you've ever been to the symphony, you've seen the violinists and the violists and other string instrument players with rosin that they put on their bow. And the purpose of that rosin is to increase the friction between the rosin, between the bow rather, and the strings. To, so the, the bow can really grab the strings and snap them and because it can grab them har harder, it can vibrate them harder, and the intensity and volume of the notes produced by the string is that much greater. I'm not gonna put violin rosin on this, but why don't we just use a little bit of something you've got around the house, a little bit of water, we'll soak that string, turn that off, now let's see what happens. Now you've got something. Now you've got something making noise. The purpose of the, the water addition, or the, adding the water to the string, increases the friction between your fingers on the string, increases the intensity of the vibrations, and increases the intensity of the sound. So you can build this, drive everybody around you nuts, it will probably attract every moose within 10 kilometers. If you get a moose in the yard, say hi for me. I'm Alan Nursall, over and out. Uh -uh.